hello again. And in this video, we are at Agegarth Falls, just outside the village of Agegarth, just, just a little bit over there. And uh, we're on the River Ewer. Now, now here we've got a series of waterfalls that, that spread to about one and a half kilometers, starting with the, with the falls behind me. And then, and then they gradually go downstream for quite a way, I'd say about one and a half kilometers. Great place to come. Um, a lot of people milling around this area, so there will be other members of the public floating around. Now these falls were made famous to some extent by, by the painter Turner, who painted them uh, quite a few years ago, obviously. But more recently, um, Kevin Costner filmed uh, Robin Hood here. And it's the falls behind me where he had that, that fight on the waterfall with the, with the Longstaffs um, with uh, Little John. And I think he actually came over these falls just behind me into the water. So we're going we're gonna to photograph these today. Now, a few things about waterfalls. One, there's a lot of water, but there's not been much rain recently, so there isn't as much water as you may think behind me. These falls can get quite, quite full when there's a lot of water floating around after it's been raining, but it's not rained for a, a few days now, and it's been a, we're having a bit of a period of a dry spell, so the water is quite low. But that brings in some advantages. It means that some of the rocks in the centre of the river are, um, are exposed, which means moving around is a little bit easier. Now they are covered in moss, they are slippy, so you need to be super, super careful when you're out here. But it means you can get into places to get angles on the waterfalls that you maybe can't normally get to. So for example, I'm sat on these rocks here which are, which are quite high and, and, and nice and dry. But just to the left of me is the bank. And uh, I couldn't get over that piece, that, that, that is just too far. So to get here, I've had to quite take a bit of an extended route pretty much out to the middle of the river and then back along these rocks. So you just be careful, but it can be done, you can get some really nice, interesting locations. Now the, wolf, the waterfalls behind me, I picked these today because they're, they're, they're kind of a two layer waterfall. The water comes over the top and then drops onto this ledge. And that ledge is kind of, it, it looks a bit bouldery. It's not a boulder, it's a ledge, but it, it's got kind of a boulder formation on it. And then the water is kind of rolling over that additional layer down into the bottom of the, uh, of the river and then, uh, and then drifting off. So we're, we're kind of going to use that to try and create a little bit of movement in the water, but also a little bit of a dynamic of that water kind of moving around in a rather than just a straight vertical drop. Now in the composition of this image, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use the rocks on this side to try to kind of bring, bring that edge in a little bit, try not to hit the camera. And, uh, and then use this river as it's coming down towards the, uh, the camera as a bit of a lead-in that's taking you back up towards, the, uh, back up towards the, the, the waterfalls themselves. Now, equipment for today, a little bit different, but very, very consistent with my last few videos. The last few videos I've used a lead big stopper with, um, with a polarising filter. And today I'm still going to use that polarising filter not, not set too high, I'm just going to roll it around a little bit just to take a little bit of glare off the water itself. That'll just help me remove some highlights and it'll also create a little bit of depth into the water, but not a lot. I want to see the surface of the water. The second thing is the neutral density filter I'm using today is going to be a Lee Little Stopper. So I've traditionally used in the last few videos a Big Stopper, which has given me about a 30 second exposure on the settings I've been using. Today it's a little bit darker. Um, we are under some trees, so that the settings are pushing me up towards the minute, and that's that's too long for me. I don't want that, that much movement. I don't want that much milkiness in the water. I want to I want to reduce it quite a bit. I just get a little bit of movement. So what I'm going to do is going to use a little stopper, which is going to give me, you know, just a few stops of movement, but it's going to reduce my exposure down to about 10 seconds. So settings today, all the tens. I am on F10. I am using a 10 second exposure ISO 64 with a Lee little stopper. Let's take a look at that picture. Let's take the picture first. Today I'm using uh, my remote, my remote release. Remote release, I will say that properly. Um, which, because of the location I'm in here, these, these rocks here are quite slippy. So if I get behind the camera, I risk falling in and pulling the camera with me, which I've done before. I don't want to do it again. So no bending over the camera today after the initial settings have been completed. Our picture's taken now, so let's have a look at that image and see what it looks like. Well, as we hoped, we've, we've got the waterfalls, we've got that nice secondary bounce from that ledge, and then that movement of the water down towards uh, the camera. Relatively nice and smooth, a few little ripples in there every now and again, but a nice smooth water, 
and uh, the rocks on the right, I think, just, just push that image back in a little bit, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm happy with that photograph. So that's it for today. I um, hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.